Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a look at the device that is built specifically for the indie market. I'm talking about the Galaxy M20. Yes, this is a device that comes in at a budget price range that packs in a lot of Samsung features. Now, stay tuned to the end because we've got a surprise for you guys that you definitely love. Let's jump in. So Samsung has tried to get into that low budget arena of smartphones haven't done a good job and India is a market of course that we know that OnePlus does really well. OnePlus is one of the best selling phones in India. Samsung wants to get that foothold in there. This is not just this doesn't compete with the OnePlus but this comes in at a really affordable price range around $230 for the 64 gigabyte version of this device. Now the uh, Samsung M20 spots a 6.3 inch display it's got a Infinity V uh, display, which means it has a dimple notch at the very top. And you know, your images look really sharp and vibrant on there. And you can see it's got slightly thicker bezels all around. But again, at that price point, you're looking at something that should have that. Now it's running in an Exynos processor, I believe it's a 7000 series here. And I did get the version with uh, 64 gigabytes of storage. There's a 32 gigabyte version. And I went with uh, four gigs of RAM on here. Now it comes with a whopping 5000 milliamp battery. Pretty big battery and it's got fast charging, standard fast charging here. But it's nice though, the battery life on this thing is insane. So if you're looking for a budget device that can pack battery, that's pretty good. Now that front facing camera, just going back quickly, is eight megapixels, f2.0. At the rear, we do have two cameras. We've got a regular standard camera uh, and we've got a wide angle, uh, 13 and five megapixels, LED flash, with a fingerprint sensor at the back, which is fairly responsive. It's a little slower than I would like, but it's a still fairly responsive fingerprint sensor. Now, a couple of other features you'll find with this device is that it's got a USB type C port. Yes, at a $200 price range, people are beginning to understand that we need to switch to USB Type-C. So we've got that with fast charging in there and a headphone jack. Now the beauty of the headphone jack is that yes, it's got a headphone jack, it's a, it's a low cost device or budget device, but Samsung has also added Dolby Atmos. So much better audio quality on this, I have to say. Uh, I found it you know, of decent quality for me to be able to drive some really decent music. Now, when you look into those options, especially when you're dropping down the notification bar, there are a couple of things that I found quite interesting. One is Dolby Atmos, of course, which I just mentioned. The other is ultra data savings. So giving you ability to maximize your data as much as possible, especially uh, places where, of course, you know, um, data costs can be expensive. This makes a lot of sense. Now, in terms of software, there's a bunch of software in here that's added. There's a radio, there's a My Galaxy app. I'm just looking at it right now. There's a Galaxy Store. I'm not sure how the, the market is in India in terms of how the Play Store works there, but it looks like Samsung has added a few more things to make it easier, or it might just be bloatware uh, on this device. Now, in terms of functionality, it runs really well, really smooth, uh, really fast. I really didn't get any slowdowns. And of course, you're probably gonna be asking, what about gaming? Yes, I did run some games on here. I played some Asphalt 9, that ran really well, and also it took advantage of the Infinity uh, V display, so of course it filled up the whole screen, and it looked pretty good. Uh, then the next game I played a little bit was PUBG, just ran around for a little bit. Uh, it started getting a little bit warm on that, and that's where you notice that you get some heat dissipation, especially on the left-hand side, closer towards the camera. Uh, I noticed that with both PUBG as well as um, um, Asphalt 9. Now, PUBG, I tried to run it at max settings. I had to drop it down a little bit because at max settings, um, it was getting a little bit choppy and you notice some things like that. But you can play those games on here and that's fine. That's really a good thing that a $200 smartphone, we're getting to the point where some of these higher uh, level games you can play pretty well. Now, when we move to the camera, you know, we've got a front facing camera, it's eight megapixels. It does a good job, but I noticed, of course, the beautification mode is highly present on this, and I look, you know, slightly ashy or slightly like fair skin, which, of course, I don't naturally look that way, but that's something you get from there. The red camera does a decent job, and I got, I like the fact that it's got a wide-angle lens. 
uh, that's something that's really nice on the device, you know, of this price point. So that's pretty cool. You get to, you know, take some of the pictures of the city landscape. You can see I can, you know, take a regular shot and go into a wide angle shot. I can get more of that real estate and something you usually find from higher price devices, you know, things like uh, the Galaxy S10 has that, LG's had that on their V series and the G series. So seeing on the devices, you know, um, uh, $230 is really nice. Now you've got live focus in there as well, but of course only works with faces because you use the software. The software for the camera is actually pretty nice. Um, it's easy to go through each, um, uh, each uh, option without actually flicking through and making issues. You've got a pro mode there as well. I think, you know, overall the camera is decent. Uh, you record a 1080p and you've got some really nice photos. Nighttime photos, not so much, it's, you know, it's what you, whatever you get at that at that price point, uh, but I have to say though I think the camera is pretty decent for what you're getting here. I think overall when you look at the M20, there's a lot that's packed in here. Uh, performance is pretty good. Uh, of course you've got a, a dual SIM device. You've got a camera that is decent and solid. Uh, you've got a massive battery life here with 5,000 milliamps uh, in here. Uh, I wish this was running one UI because I think we'll see uh, better performance of this device. It's running Experience UI um, uh, 8 point, uh, Experience UI 9.5, uh, not one UI. So hopefully this gets a one UI update. That would be pretty nice. Uh, but I do like the M20. I do like what it brings to the table. And speaking of liking it, I am giving away an M20 here. Actually, you know what, I'll be nice. I'm giving away two M20s here, and all you have to do to enter to win is go ahead and like this video, share this video, favorite this video, follow us on all our social medias, and um, leave a comment and tell me exactly what is your best feature on the M20. Uh, we will pick a winner when we hit 2,000 likes, and we'll be giving away, yes, two Galaxy M20s. So there you have it guys, uh, follow all that to enter to win. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.